The Cobbler pulling out three deep by the 600 from Tonka Tough. A length to send Toki and down made Allen. Still last of all is Grey Enigma. 450 left to go. Coming to the corner and Tycoon Target kicked a length and a half to two in front of by Decree. He is in full flight at the top of the straight. Tycoon Target hit straightened up but he shifted a bit of ground so by Decree looking for the inside run. Not again. Ken runs on so does the Cobbler. Followed by Tonka Tough. Over on the outside Tycoon Target by Decree. The Cobbler Tonka Tough, Tycoon Target, the Cobbler coming, Tonka Tough on the outside, Tonka Tough lunging, Tonka Tough, Tonka Tough has got there in the last bound from Tycoon Target by Decree or the Cobbler. And in behind them, our mate L, Grey Enigma from last was making ground steadily late. Not again, Ken Bevel next home. A gap in the field to Mr. Pago, then Sentoki, and dropping out to finish last is Black Lily. Number six, the winner. Tonka Tuff, ridden by Ryan Hill. He just cut them down gradually, stride by stride, getting to Tycoon Target by decree. The Cobbler just peaking on his effort inside the final 50, but Tonka Tuff, a winner three starts ago, has again returned to the list today for Boy Hill and trainer Brad Graham, beating Tycoon Target. By decree, the Cobbler fourth and Dow Maydell will be fifth in front of Grey Enigma. Well, it was always a wide betting market and the finish was reflective of that. They went across the line within a length of each other, about four of those. Six dollars and two even, Tonka Tough. Tycoon target 180 by decree will pay 370. The winner is By The Rock from Angel Lee by Jugar for B.A. Cooper, a four-year-old gilding with four wins out of 18 starts. The trainer Brad Graham and handled by Boy Hill. Five Tycoon Target, just denying the Stelmac stable a double again this afternoon by Blackfriars out of which Target for Jerry Stelmac, Bill O'Burn, D. Mrs. C. Ward, W. Kendall E. Gizzarelli, Sean McGruddy, the rider. And by decree, got that lovely inside run for Matty Ortier, trained by Darren McAuliffe, the universal ruler, elusive choice mare. And fourth, the Cobbler in a time of 130.39. 130.39 there after the running of race. Number six, so he's been ultra consistent this preparation. Tonka tough and had to pull out all stops. He'll to cut them down over the final stages to get home in race six. Race seven, the commit to change. Handicap at 4.10. One touch of silver, eight moon search, 12 street bandit. The scratchings, nine starters there in the next event of the day. Here's Adam McGrath down there at the moment with the winning trainer, Brad Graham, after the victory of Tonka tough. Brad Tonka Tough, uh, we keep referring to the little bit there in toughness because this horse just shows plenty of it, a really well-deserved win considering the campaign. Yeah, it was a great win today and um, just a thrilling, great win. Tell us about uh, the prep so far and we'll only go back at five runs. I mean, the run behind Touch of Silver was on us. She then beat a very nice horse in Secret Doubt by three lengths. And the last two starts as well, the form lines around Tucky's Lad and Key to Fame have held up with both of them winning since. Yeah, well, he probably should have won both those starts. He just went uh, too early and got caught wide his last start as well so he probably should have won three in a row. It was a tricky barrier today as well for Ryan to overcome but he was able just to get into a nice position early relax and then know that this horse does have the turn of foot to run on strongly. Yeah well that was the plan today just to get cover and and if he had to get three wide well then he but he had to have cover and as soon as he gets cover the horse will kick hard. You've mentioned that you plan to step up in distance when is that going to occur? Oh, I don't know, probably uh, maybe next year. Keep staying at it while it's going well? Well, it's going good and earning, just keep making the most of it. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. There's trainer Brad Graham of Tonga Tough for getting the job done. We'll speak now to Ryan Hill, the winning jockey. And Ryan, as I said to Brad, this horse really deserves it. Just gives 100% every time. Yeah, no, he does. Um, he's had some sticky barriers. One day he drew a good gate, he won by three. So... Yeah, he deserved that win today. Even today was a little bit tough from barrier eight when we'd seen horses like the Cobbler and even Grey Enigma go forward last start. There was a couple of question marks to how the speed would look early. Yeah, no, for sure. But one thing this horse does, he always missed a kick by length. So I thought I'd use that to my advantage today. I just wanted to get on the back of Pikey and that's what happened and it worked out perfect. Showed a really nice turn of foot late as well because the horses like By Decree and also Tycoon Target were still running on nicely. Yeah, no, they were. Like I said, these are a pretty even bunch of horses. I mean, they're all handy horses, but... Normally it comes down to who gets the best luck in the run. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. There's Ryan Hill winning jockey aboard of Tonka Tough, taking out race number six here at Ascot.